Hello everyone, this is demo for pile group state model generation using python. This program is developed using python and few lines of VBA code to run our python script from excel. If this is your first time watching my video, then take a pause to read this. Now let's start our demo. So this project has two parts, excel sheet which contain all the inputs and python folder which contain all the code required for this project. As you can see, this generate tab with generate model button will automatically load it when you open your excel file. All geometry inputs are on this sheet. To give you a better idea of my setup and workflow, let me generate one stat model first. Just click on generate button and our stat model is generated. Let me just open model for a quick review and it's looking good. Let's go back to our excel sheet, so I can explain my inputs in detail. Pile details consist of pile length, dia and mesh size for support placement. Grid x and grid z represent spacing of piles in x and z direction. I will explain this table later on. Last table is stiffness at specific depth level. I have separate sheet which calculates stiffness of soil using n value at each RL level. Let me explain what actually happened when you press this generate button. It will generate stat model that is obvious but behind the scene it will run VBA macro. That macro will automatically find python script in our project folder as well as python exe part, so we don't have to specify anything else. Now let's check out our generated model. Measuring pile spacing, which is correct. Pile length and mesh size is correct. We can also add mid pile when it's required. Now let me explain this table. Before this we need to understand pile numbering. So as you can see, piles are numbered left to right, bottom to top. I am using this node number as unique pile number. We can use this pile number to give offset to our pile. For example, sometimes we need to move piles due to gas line or water lines on site location. Just for example, I am moving third pile by 10 cm in x and z direction. Let me close this model and generate new one. So you can see third pile position is updated now. Change is too small to notice on actual model. Let me increase offset size. And now we can see third pile is moved according to offset. Let me show you few more variation. I am changing grid x input. Now all 6 piles are generated with our grid size. Also changing grid set spacing.
and now it's 16 piles. So you can create any grid combination you like with this setup. One last change, let me give some offset to this pile number 11. And now we can see pile 11 position is updated. So this is it for this demo. Let me know if you have any questions related to this project. Bye. Have a good day.